Finally home. Feels so bomb to be back in my bed. If y'all didn't know, I have like one of the comfiest beds in the world. It's 4 a.m. right now. I'm just kind of working on a vlog, answering emails and shit like that. I gotta wake up in the morning to go handle business and get, you know, back to the grind. You know you're either tired or just lazy when you just scoot all your clothes that were on the bed to the other side of the bed and then you just, I just I'm sleeping on this side and this is where everything's just gonna have to be tonight. What's up y'all? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um I didn't vlog my day because um it's been all a lot of like meetings and auditions, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like to show meetings and auditions because a lot of them don't lead to anything like you know you go on a lot of auditions and you don't get the part you go on a lot of meetings with people and a lot of them lead to nothing nowadays a lot of these young cats <laughs> are like yo making moves i'm at a meeting here and i'm at a meeting here i'm making moves watch for me watch for me and then you have all this hype and all these meetings that don't lead to anything and then you just kind of look kind of stupid you know what i'm saying i learned not to get hyped over meetings and discussing shit a long time ago, you know, because me and my dudes, PD Flow, Super Ego, Ricky Shucks, we've been doing shit like this for a long time. We've had so many times where we thought, this is our big break, y'all. This is our big break. We just had this meeting. These people about to give us this much money to do this. We about to have a TV show. We about to get this movie deal. Um, and even when we got to a point where we had a movie deal, shit still fucked up. High School Sucks Musical is still coming out, though. Um, but shit still fucked up. So sometimes it's 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 best to kind of make your moves in silence, you know. So uh, that's why, like, I when I have full days where I I go on meetings and shit like that, I just kind of turn the camera off. Uh, you know, I just want to focus on making good impression and and handling my business. You know, PD Flow used to used to get upset at me because he'd be like, "Bro, I got this opportunity, blah blah blah. Yo, how you feel about that meeting?" And I'd be like, "It's cool. It's cool." And he used to say, I would get more excited about the McRib coming back to McDonald's than us potentially having like a movie deal and shit. But it was only because the McRib, when McDonald's tells me the McRib is back, I'm like, the McRib is back. I can go buy that shit right now and take a bite. When a group of old white dudes in suits is talking to me, telling me they're interested in something, it might be a good six months or a year before anything gets to popping even if if it even ever gets popping so i learned to not get hyped until the check is in my hand and or the camera is in my face and the dude is saying action you know what i'm saying this is not to discourage anybody um and this is not to say that you should be jaded from opportunities and chances and um growing your career i'm just saying that the only thing i can control is how much i work and the only thing I am truly hyped about and I know to be 100% true is how dedicated I am. So that's the type of shit I can be proud of for sure. And Because I, I don't want to be bragging about something that hasn't happened yet, you know? And I had to learn that lesson the hard way. You know, like as the old, old saying goes, don't go counting your chickens before your eggs have hatched. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them... Uh, might be little dead baby chickens or some of them, uh, you know, um, might get cracked open for omelet or some of them might be little stillborn uh, uh, belot babies that get eaten up <laughs> by Filipinos, you know, so. <laughs> so after that long ass speech, I figure I should at least let y'all know what the type of shit I'm auditioning for, just so you guys can keep up with the journey. Uh, I'm trying to get into voiceover acting too, so uh, CAA called me in to do like some voiceover auditions for some uh, some new Cartoon Network cartoons. And then um, after that, I had a meeting with the casting people from CBS Comedy to see if they might want me for pilot season, which is like in January, to see if they have any parts in some upcoming uh, pilots that I might be good for. And um, and uh, yeah, that was it. All right, so we in the back of the Uber, right? 
I'm with my boys here, and with Alex from Wasabi, I'm with Ricky Shucks, right? Trying to find something to eat right now. So hungry, so thirsty, going to some crazy spot, right? It should be crazy, bro. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I think it's just your vlog. Anyone on your vlog? I think so. I, I I think that's what happens, bro. I don't know what. Are you from Cape Town? Where are you from? What is what are you it talking? It sounds like Cape Town. I just came from Cape Town. It's not like that. Yeah. <laughs> we out here at Churchill in West Hollywood. I'm with Alex. I'm with Rick. We about to go in. We got the octopus. Mm -hmm. Kale salad. Got him. Spaghetti. Yep. We got this sexy ass mac and cheese right here, son. I'm gonna be farting all night, but it's worth it though. Ciao. Sorry. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> what, 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 what? To keep your tootsies warm, you need boots and woolly socks. Ooh, <clears throat> to keep your tootsies warm, you need boots and woolly socks. I rushed over here, and they're like, "All right, let's break for lunch." So I'm just showing in my trailer. Uh, it's kind of cool, you know. I got a little trailer and shit, so I'm just kind of hanging out, waiting on my turn to shoot my part so I can bounce. So this is how they got me dressed for this next scene. They got me dressed as like um, a music producer, legend, some shit like that. But I'm blind. I'm blind in this scene. Um, so this is how they dress me. I got these bright ass kicks on. Um, acting, motherfucker. So I'm at a bacon tasting party. My drink had bacon in it. They walking around, passes around, passing around shit with bacon on it. I don't think they it. can hear you. No, they can. They can. <laughs> Bacon party! <laughs> Bacon! Good morning. Good morning, Dad. It's, it's noon. Good afternoon. Um, I wasn't supposed to see Chia until Thanksgiving, but it was just a really, this is, it's like, this is like the longest we've gone without seeing each other for a long time. It's like a good, like six, six, Day. seven weeks. <laughs> so she was like, can you come if you're not busy in November? And I thought I was going to be busy in November. That's why originally I wasn't going to come, but then my schedule freed up. So I said, okay, babe, I'll come. And now I'm on my way to the airport. Watch out. Watch out, Tia. So it's my first day here visiting Chia, and she has me putting up drywall with her dad. I'm trying to be on vacation. Why are you putting me to work for, huh? Vacation's over. So, oh, she, she means, she has a metaphor meaning the honeymoon stage of our relationship is over. Now it's time to get real. Put in work. Is that what you're saying, babe? Yep. Gotta get used to it. Yo, what does that mean? Um, that means a uh, nice child's gone. <laughs> Great. Now that we've passed the four-year mark, she's gonna like stop pretending to be a sweet girl. I am a sweet girl. I'm drawing an animal. In memory of peaches. Since when can you draw? Oh man, I retired. Artistry. You used to be an artiste, huh? Years ago, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing here? Diffusing my hair. Diffusing her hair. See this? Yeah, what does that do? It's a diffuser. Why do you diffuse your hair as a as a mixed girl? Uh, what do you do? What does this do to your hair? It's just for curly haired girls. It's for curly haired girls. It keeps her curl from not frizzing. Keeps your curl from not frizzing. See how nice it looks? Super nice.
The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you. King shit. Why do people be like? Eh. I'm not gonna eat you. I'm not gonna eat you. Is it into thought of who should end up with Ula? Very, very handsome. I don't get none. I like to look at other people.